you have already experienced the pressure of having to bring a beloved book character to life on the mm -hmm. silver screen. <laughs> How would you compare that experience and pressure with having to bring a beloved animated character to life? I think I started playing Hermione when I was a child myself, and so there was kind of an ignorance is bliss factor, a little bit. Now I was an adult, but I knew I was bringing to life a sacred part of people's childhoods. What happens when the last petal falls? People really love the original, yeah. so remaking that is like... Ooh. I think probably this time round, I, I felt it more. Um, Having said that, getting to do all the singing, dancing, comedic aspect of it, I think, kept the experience pretty light. You, you basically can't take yourself too seriously when you're dancing with a man in a... Muscle suit on a stilts. A muscle suit on stilts. You're talking to a dancing candlestick. You've got to have a sense of humor about it all. Speaking of Harry Potter, a lot of the fans want to know, are you and Daniel still in touch? Do you guys text? Has he said anything about the film? Um, gosh. We actually have a group WhatsApp, which I invited everyone, really, from the main cast from Harry Potter to come to um, the screenings. And uh, Matt Lewis and Tom Felton came to the screening that we just had in LA. It's kind of like Pokemon. I'm trying to catch them all right now. <laughs> I've got Bonnie and Jan left. Um, you know, we're all spread all over the globe. And so, you know, it's a case of trying to, like, get people into the right yeah. places, but um, I'm very, feel very um, supported by my by my old co-stars. 